everyone, my name is Sasha and I'm from Kyiv. I'm not a travel blogger or anything, I'm just a tour guide in this wonderful city. And this year, because of the coronavirus and the lockdown, my work has stopped. So um, I decided to show Kyiv uh, to the rest of the world while it is impossible to travel. Uh, I came to one of my favorite places and I would like to make this small video tour and I want you to join me, so let's start it! I'm in the historical part of the city that is called Old Town and uh, actually it is a place where Kyiv was founded 1500 years ago and here we have one of the most picturesque places in the city we have this beautiful church that is called St. Andrew's Church and right near it to the left there is this tree that goes all the way down it is called Andrew's Descent and what I really love about this place is the view that opens up behind this temple and I'm gonna go you to show it to you uh, but first just look how how unusually the church stands uh, on the hill. You may see that to the left of it, uh, in the foundation, there is this two-story building and to the right there is just a hill. So uh, let me go there. The church is here since 1762 when Kyiv was a city of big Russian empire. Russian Empress visited Kyiv. She came all the way from St. Petersburg, the capital. As some historians say, she came here because of her lover who was Ukrainian. She stayed uh, here for a while and ordered to build a royal residence and a church for the royal family. She chose this place for the temple and the two-story building and its foundation and this staircase uh, were the architectural decision to make it possible to build the church uh, on the steep hill. Still, this hill is very unstable, that's why St. Andrew's Church always needs to be repaired. Even now it is closed for restoration, but as they say, it will be opened already this August. During the hot day, and today is a hot day, it's so good to chill here with the wind blowing and with the view once again my favorite place in Kiev. This is one of my best views of the city. I love it here. It's so peaceful and calm and look how clearly visible it all. So many details. I think I can stay here and watch it forever. Another landmark of Kyiv is the street that is called Andrew's Descent. Here it is. It goes all the way down to Podil. It is very curvy and steep. And there's also a historical street that connected two historical neighborhoods. It is a popular place for artists. As you may see to the right, there is this alley of artists where you can go and buy a picture of local artists. Down the hill there is one of the historical neighborhoods of Kyiv that is called Podil. In old times Podil was a popular place to live for regular people, for working class, for tradesmen. It was uh, the center for the trade because of the river. The river is called Dnipro and it is the largest river uh, in Ukraine. It divides Kyiv into two parts. We call them right bank and left bank. Right now I'm on the right bank and the left bank is over there where those blocks are. Between two uh, banks uh, there, is, uh, there are many islands because uh, the river is really wide. This one is called Truhaniv Island. It is uh, uh, like a recreation area. It is uh, a place where people go um, on the beach during the summertime. Uh, and there are also many uh, bridges that connect two neighborhoods, uh, two uh, banks of the river. Mm, the last one over there, the triangle one, it is called Northern Bridge. Another bridge that is here, the rounded one, it has been on construction for already 26 years and it is still not finished. 
We are hoping, as our mayor said this year, at the end of the year it will be open. So we'll see. To the right of the church there is the school area that was opened only last year and it immediately became one of the most popular places in the city because it goes uh, down to the uh, popular trail where we can walk in the park. I really love this area here. It was also reconstructed last year and I think I just wish to come here one day I don't know, during the sunrise to bring my yoga mat and to do yoga here, I think. It will be so cold. And when you get tired, you can sit on one of many benches that are here. This is one and only funicula in Kiev, the cable car. It was one of the first transportations in the city that was opened in 1905, so this one is more than 100 years old. Before, on this place, there were just wooden stairs that connected two neighborhoods. Another viewing desk and uh, there is this gazebo that um, really has the history. It is an old one and it's called Kokarev gazebo. Kok Kokarev, he was an entrepreneur who came to Kyiv uh, in business uh, 150 years ago and he really loved our city. He loved uh, the views uh, over the river uh, and uh, he loved uh, this park, this area. By the way, back then no trees were here uh, and he gave money to the city to build the gazebo um, in one of his favorite places. The city administration took that money, put it in a bank and somehow forgot about the money for 30 years. When they remember it, uh, it was enough uh, money in the bank already to build two gazebos. This park is right in the city center. It is called Vladimirska Hill. It was also renovated last year and uh, now it is decorated with uh, many things. Uh, there are also these beautiful street lights and these street lights are decorated with a symbol and I want to tell you more about this symbol. It is our national coat of arts and not every Ukrainian knows but there is a secret word inscribed into it and I'm gonna teach you some Ukrainian. You may try to read here there is this letter like B right so it is Ukrainian V Ukrainian O, Ukrainian L, like this, and Ya, which means the third word is Volia, which means freedom or will. The park is called Vladimirska Hill because of the monument of Prince Vladimir. He is an important figure in our history. He was the one who made us all Christians. He lived in uh, uh, 10th century and before people were pagans and he decided to get baptized and to baptize all Rus. The monument stands above the place where uh, according to the legion people were baptized and he holds the Christian cross um, because he was later recognized as saint and the cross is highlighted at night. At the beginning of the park, we have a new pedestrian bridge that was opened only last year. The bridge connects two hills and two parks and makes one long trail to walk on the cave hills and to enjoy the, the city views. A funny story happened on the opening day when our mayor, who is a heavyweight boxer, world champion Vitaly Klitschko, he, he came here together with his brother, who is another 
heavyweight boxer and they were standing on those glass parts and they were jumping showing that the glass is really safe and uh, you can walk you can jump nothing will happen and nothing happened until the evening in the evening one of the glass uh, glasses cracked that was immediately in all news the bridge was closed and everyone was talking about it uh, but uh, as as they said it was made by someone on purpose still for more than uh, three months uh, those glass parts were closed and uh, uh, were on restoration so this is the place where i will finish the tour please give me your feedback in the comments like this video uh, and i uh, hope to see you in kiev bye bye